Okay, this is about the, the lab email that I received. And if you go to, well, it seems to all be lit up now. But anyway, if I go to batch results, sorry, not batch results, wrong. Go to electronic report. And if I put in, I'm going to put in a long range of November to current date. And I want to see all. And I'm going to choose all providers. And I'm going to submit. Okay, this is going to show me all of the orders that have been done. As you can see, they say preview, primary. They're all done. Or the preliminary status. This says review. This says preliminary review. And so I'm not for sure what you're looking for, but I know that when I went into this one here, I'm going to click into this one that doesn't have a check mark by it. And if I go into that, I can see that it's patient number 36. And so patient number 36 doesn't have anything out next to the status of it. And it's on this day here. Let me click back into it one more time. So yeah, it tells me it's patient number 36. And so I'm going to close this and go and find patient number 36. And if I put in 36, it brings me up this patient here. If I click into the patient's chart and go to pending review, I can see the lab order here and there's nothing been recorded in it. And so you can record the data for the H1C here, whether it be normal or abnormal, or any, any of the discrete results. You can put those in and then sign these results. So that's the other way that you can find the patient and clear out. Let's see if I go back here. Yeah, that's how it is. Okay, so again, if I go to procedures and then electronic report this is going to allow me to find every procedure that's been ordered in the system and I'm going to tell it all and I can choose the other settings I just choose all because this way I can see everything that's there and so I can see a lot of these have no status next to them which means they haven't been looked at or viewed or any of those things. They haven't been, their statuses haven't been changed. And I can see that this is for patient 36, and then you have all of these labs here. And so some of these labs probably can be deleted because they may be repeats because you keep putting them in over and over again. But some of these others, but this is where you can find all the transactions that are in the system for different patients or for all the patients that are in there. Thank you much. I uh, schedule a, another training session as soon as possible. I'm gonna get out of here.